Before dive into Nikon Z4, first have a look on recently released Nikon Z63 specs. The Nikon Z63 mirrorless camera boasts a 24.5 megapixel partially stacked CMOS sensor and an Xpeed 7 image processor, delivering exceptional image quality. It supports 6K 60p and RAW and 6K 30p ProRes RAW recording, along with 4K 120p and Full HD 240p slow motion video. Capture every moment with up to 20 FPS in RAW and 60 FPS in JPS and JPEG shooting. Enjoy a blackout-free experience with a 5760,000.EVF and a 493.AF system featuring AI-based subject detection. The 3.2-inch 4-axis tilting touchscreen LCD offers versatile shooting angles, dual CFX Type B and SD memory card slots, and camera to cloud direct connectivity enhance workflow efficiency. Let's dive into Nikon Z4. Certainly, there's a strong likelihood that we could witness Nikon introducing full-frame cameras, even more budget-friendly than the Nikon Z5, potentially named the Nikon Z4, though this isn't confirmed yet. We've come across a compact mirrorless camera design lacking an electronic viewfinder and featuring a minimalist physical interface. Nikon's decision to exclude an EVF from the compact full-frame mirrorless camera body is aimed at minimizing production. However, it's improbable for Nikon to release such a camera into the market without a substantial competitor, as its arrival could significantly impact the sales of existing models like the Nikon Z5 and Nikon ZFC. While some suggest the design could resemble Sony's compact a 7C mirrorless camera, the absence of an EVF fuels speculation that Nikon might be venturing into the realm of digital rangefinder-style cameras, deviating from the typical mirrorless model with an EVF. Reports indicate that the Nikon Z4 sensor size should be 24.3 megapixel FX format CMOS sensor. Rumored Nikon Z4 is anticipated to be compact and lightweight, boasting dimensions smaller than its predecessor, the Z5. Expected to measure around 63 mm by 129 mm by 96 mm and weighing approximately 565 grams, the Z4 might omit in body image stabilization to keep costs down. Instead of adhering to the conventional mirrorless camera design, some predict that the Z4 could emulate the compact form factor and user interface of Nikon's FX format eye cameras, akin to the Z50 but equipped with a full-frame sensor. Additionally, enhanced connectivity features, including app support and other advanced capabilities, are anticipated to seamlessly integrate the Z4 into modern workflows. However, amidst the excitement surrounding the Z4, questions arise regarding its necessity Given the success of Nikon's existing entry-level full-frame mirrorless offering, the Z5. While the Z4 may offer a more affordable option by foregoing features like in-body image stabilization and an electronic viewfinder, it remains uncertain if this aligns with the desires of Nikon's user base. The Z5 already presents a compelling value proposition, providing DX and DXS owners with an accessible route to full-frame mirrorless photography. Furthermore, Nikon's flagship models, the Z6 and Z7, offer impressive performance and capabilities at competitive price points. Instead of introducing another entry-level model, some advocate for Nikon to adopt a more daring strategy, resurrecting its classic rangefinder heritage with a contemporary twist. Nikon's strategic focus on high-end equipment suggests a diminishing interest in low-priced entry-level cameras, which could eventually be superseded by smartphones. The Z5 is perceived as adequately catering to the market segment below the Z6 and Z7. Despite the Nikon Z mount being the largest in the full-frame mirrorless realm, there's room for innovation without sacrificing compactness. Embracing simplicity, a fixed-lens rangefinder could serve as an adaptable companion for travel and street photography, offering a unique shooting experience with vintage charm. Such a product could differentiate itself from traditional mirrorless offerings while paying homage to Nikon's esteemed legacy in photography. In essence, while a rangefinder-style camera may diverge from expectations, it holds the potential to capture a significant market share by presenting a distinctive alternative to conventional mirrorless cameras. As Nikon has not officially announced a release date for the Nikon Z4, there is no confirmed launch schedule available. Early rumors initially suggested a potential release in either 2022 or 2023. However, 
it is now evident that this did not materialize. Furthermore, the absence of recent leaks or information suggests that Nikon may have shelved the Z4 project entirely for the time being. Consequently, the Nikon Z4 remains an unannounced and speculative camera that has only been discussed through rumors. While these rumors portrayed it as a more affordable option within Nikon's lineup, it appears that the plans for its development have not come to fruition. The photography world is buzzing with rumors about Nikon's upcoming Z9H camera, which is expected to feature a groundbreaking proprietary global shutter sensor. This cutting-edge technology could revolutionize how rapid motion is captured, providing a game-changing advantage for sports, wildlife and action photography. With potential capabilities like flash sync at any shutter speed and incredibly high frame rates, the Z9H may set new benchmarks for speed, accuracy, and image quality. Let's delve deeper into these exciting rumors. While Nikon has kept full details tightly under wraps, early speculation suggests the company is developing the Z9H with its own proprietary global shutter sensor to compete with Sony's latest innovation in this domain. A global shutter captures the entire image frame simultaneously, eliminating the distortions that can occur with the electronic shutter's progressive scanning method. This technology could give the Z9H a significant edge in capturing subjects in rapid motion without distortion, potentially revolutionizing sports, wildlife, and action photography. Sony's recent A9 III has demonstrated the advantages of a global shutter for preserving fidelity when capturing intense movement, so if the Z9H is equipped with similar technology, it would allow Nikon to compete directly with Sony's renowned offering in this arena. However, the benefits of a global shutter extend beyond distortion-free captures of fast-moving subjects. Enabling flash sync at any shutter speed opens up new creative possibilities for lighting fleeting moments of high-velocity motion that were previously impossible to capture. The A9 III provided a glimpse of this capability by facilitating flash sync up to its 1 400ths SE electronic shutter limit. If the rumored Z9H matches or exceeds this capability, it will give sports and action photographers unprecedented flexibility in lighting and capturing split-second scenarios. To achieve the extraordinarily rapid sensor readout required for a global shutter, rumors suggest the Z9H may sacrifice some resolution, offering around 20 to 24 megapixels, down from the Z9's more generous 45 megapixels. However, Nikon could incorporate a high-resolution composite mode to output gigantic 240MP files when detail is prioritized over speed. Sony opted for a more conservative 24-megapixel baseline with their A9 III to maximize performance, so a similar approach from Nikon would be a strategically sound decision. Additionally, whispers suggest the Z9H could push speed limits even further potentially achieving an awe-inspiring 120 FPS capture rate with full autofocus and auto-exposure functions intact. This would far exceed the already impressive 30 FPS continuous shooting of Nikon's current Z9 flagship. Such speeds would redefine the thresholds for capturing dramatic moments of action and movement in pixel form. If these rumors are accurate, the Z9H seems aimed squarely at professional sports photographers who need to capture explosive moments of athleticism at high speed. For Nikon, the Z9H could represent a new performance apex, reaffirming their position at the cutting edge of professional sports and action photography. Despite facing stiff competition from Sony's stacked CMOS technology, integrating a global shutter shows Nikon is still innovating and pushing boundaries, packing in top-tier features, advanced sensor technology, and formidable image processors, the Z9H could set new benchmarks for speed, accuracy, and image quality in the world of professional photography. For photographers working at the highest levels of professional sports, this rumored camera could be the ultimate tool for documenting extraordinary feats of strength, explosive motion, and high drama moments. While the Z9H remains shrouded in speculation for now, these early rumors provide a compelling glimpse into Nikon's potential response to Sony's pro camera market strategy. As more details emerge, the photography world will be watching closely. For now, the Z9H exists in the realm of speculation, but the possibilities are tantalizing enough to excite shooting professionals. The race for innovation is on, and Nikon appears ready to make their next bold move. Stay tuned for more information. What camera's capturing your moments right now? Drop its name in the comments below. We're curious to know.